horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. I think the valves are leaking on this motor. I don't think necessarily it's burning oil. Either way, it's getting fully rebuilt. Hopefully it'll last another 30 years. Nice couple good wax on them all. You should break them free. Just like that. One bolt. Two bolts. You generally want to back off the valves first, which I should have done. Stinks. Sorry, number nine. And then take that, loosen that bolt. And you can just take the adjuster and loosen it all the way up. And do the same thing for the bottom. bolt back in. Just spin it over by hand. To get it to come out. Depending on how old your stuff is, you might have to do that to get it to break free and come out. Now this is actually a brand new cam. This is one from Dr. ATV. It's a little bit higher lift, but it has more duration. I'll do a comparison of the new style cam, what they consider high performance profile. This be for low end and stuff. So that's that. Now you can slide your head off. That's what the head looks like. Hopefully that's all in shot. Your rockers. Which hopefully these are still in good shape. I might take them out. Let's take a peek. Yeah, they look pretty good. So what I'm going to do... I don't have any rubbing alcohol. Now that's what your top end looks like. The gear is still in really good shape. Cam gear. Alright. Now. You're going to have to take the bolt off of the side. Which holds the chain roller in for the uh, timing chain. And four taps the mallet. Break all that 
free. And there you have it. <clears throat> Top ends off. And there you go, that's pretty much pulling the top end out on one of these. I'm scared. This roller's still in good shape. Usually from the dirt, you'll see chain divots all the way around. If it's bad, it'll be chunked up. This one's still pretty good.